air signs. So this is for videos for all air signs, uh, sun, moon, and rising. Um, and so that's Aquarius, Libra, and uh, Gemini. So I decided to do it this way this month um, because I wanted to kind of beat the Mercury retrograde. Um, you know, Mercury, Mercury going retrograde can kind of mess up communications and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make sure that I got out all the readings for this month um, kind of sort of before that hit. Um, so hopefully I can get it out, this video out uh, before it hits or like just the day of. Um, I don't think it's going to mess me up too much if I do it that way. Um, and then so finally, um, you know, guys, the drill, if it resonates, it resonates. Um, I am pulling in a lot more energy this time because I'm covering all air signs, sun, moon, and rising. Um, so you just kind of have to take the parts that do resonate with your own uh, intuition, okay? Um, and as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate your likes, comments, and um, subscriptions, okay? Um, the channel is doing amazing, <laughs> um, much more than, um, than I could have, uh, uh, anticipated so fast. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys have never seen or, um, maybe taken a quick glance at, uh, is she or he the one, um, uh, video series, um, you don't know the card position. So I'll try to remember to go over the card positions as I go through the reading. Okay. But I did want to kind of introduce you guys to, um, this card. I hope that you guys can see it because these cards are absolutely beautiful. They are from the Barbary, uh, uh, zodiac oracle deck so this is the element of air this is where i pulled or helped to kind of amplify the air energy um in this reading i've had to take a look at the other signs uh like the water and the fire the cards are just as beautiful um to show so i just kind of wanted to show you guys this lovely um air I'm going to get a little bit closer for a second. I hope you can still see most of the card, okay? So that's kind of the oracle that kind of helped me pull um, the extra energy for this reading, okay? So over here, we have in the first position, um, two of swords. <laughs> I feel like everybody's elemental stuff is really kind of coming out. These cards, are the Zodiac Oracle cards are really working to kind of amplify um, everybody's kind of element and pulling the cards out um because Aquarius guys have more swords Aquarius um uh air signs you guys always have more swords in your decks in your readings because again coming from that mental process so here you have the two of cups in the position of is he or she the one and you're kind of in the you either don't know or you don't want to know um, because, so there's the two of swords where in your head, you're just kind of going back and forth. It could be this, they maybe are not, I just kind of don't know which direction to take, or I don't want to figure out which direction to take and have this new beginning. And then you have, you know, the water behind you, um, where she is not going to go into it. She's going to, you're keeping like kind of the emotions out of it, um, as, most air signs usually do, um, despite the ripples that are going on. So the emotions here are, of, uh, they're affecting you, whether you are trying to kind of keep them away from you or not. And that's kind of probably what's holding you up and trying to make the decision and trying to begin your, um, and having your new beginning. And so I feel like if you were to kind of turn around and pull in more of the ah, phone, <laughs> never fails. I can't get, okay, that's not true. To get one reading. Um, so I'll just wait till it stops. I always forget to turn the sound down. Oh, stop. Okay. So anyway, um, so yeah, you have this um, kind of emotional stuff um, that you can use to kind of figure out your new beginning. 
but you either don't want to because you're stuck too much in the middle or you're just not sure how to. Um, and so it kind of keeps you from making the decision to figure out is he or she the one. Now, um, over here, we have the long-term potential uh, of the relationship or marriage uh, potential of the relationship. So two cards came out in the reading, and that was another swords card. Uh, surprise, surprise. Um, and so, but this is six of swords. So this is like one of the swords cards that we really kind of love getting because this means balance. And this means moving away from those turbulent waters um, that were causing you that emotional distress. So it's kind of like you finally made your decision to go through, uh, to go into the water. And it was turbulent and it helped you to kind of figure out. But now you're in a place where I know exactly what I want. My emotions are clear, they're steady, they're strong. And now I can have my new beginning. Um, and um, this also can mean that travel with this person could help you to figure out or just traveling in general could help you to kind of gain that clarity about how to move forward um you know and enjoy a long-term relationship and see if there's some really strong potential there or not you know traveling can sometimes help you see if you can um work as a couple and um you also got the Knight of Swords card that came with that Six of Swords energy. So the traveling can help you move forward, like I just said, with the Knight of Swords. Because Knight of Swords, he's a very fast movement. He's not as fast as the Knight of uh, Wands, but he's still kind of like gung-ho. I know exactly what I want. I'm fearless about going to go ahead and get it. Um, and I, I just know my mind here. So I feel like, you found the balance and you can move forward um, with a long-term relationship. It's like you get up out of that chair that we saw over here in the, in the first card because you gain some kind of clarity here. You reach that balance. The emotional stuff kind of gets dealt with, and uh, which is generally what we like to do is to kind of deal with the emotional stuff so we can think clearly and then be able to say, okay, yes, I want to go ahead and move forward. I want to have a long-term relationship. You are the one that I'm considering. Um, and so I feel like uh, it can be the travel that will help to give you kind of the mental clarity, the balance with the other person. Um, you know, you know, you don't even have to travel to like someplace far, just kind of um, you know, maybe go take a walk or whatever, um, and, uh, get out there and you're able to kind of, you know, just spend time with this person and, and see who they are. And that allows you to be able to move forward, dear earth sign, I mean, earth sign, air sign. Um, sorry, see, already messing with me. That's, it was messing me with me when I did the other videos too. That's why I'm trying to get them out before the Mercury retrograde because I, before I'm completely just frazzled. Um, so what's over here hindering the relationship? You have the nine of wands card come out. Um, nine of wands is like one more final test that you have to go through in the relationship one more trying spirit because he's the wounded warrior. He has been dedicated up until now. Um, and it could be one or both of you is feeling this wounded warrior energy, um, feeling this final test. Um, and it could be the other person because I mean, if you're sitting down here still, like, I don't know what's the decision to make. I'm all wrapped up here in my mental capabilities. And then it could be the, the other person who feels like you're taking them through one last final test. They've been dedicated. They've been showing you that they're interested. They've been showing you that they want the relationship and that they've been here for you. But you just are, you know, kind of unsure. Um, and so they feel like oh, it's one final test or the relationship. Um, as I said in the past, if you see my other readings, uh, the relationship has its own energy as well. Um, and the relationship feels like it needs to take the both of you through one final test um, in order to come on the end. That's why I said 
perfect for the traveling to get to know the other person, to really see them in a different uh, perspective. Because, you know, when we have the day to day relationship, um, you know, we can be different than when we are on vacation or traveling um, or just having an enduring, relaxing activity. Um, so that's what's hindering the relationship. There's one more test the relationship has to go through, uh, big or small, um, in order for the two of you to be able to move forward, to you be able to enjoy that balance and be able to fearlessly, uh, have the relationship, a long-term relationship that you want. Um, now what's helping the relationship is a major arcana energy, um, and it's one of the positive uh, or, or major arcana energy that's in this reading because there's only two major arcana energies. Um, and it's great that it's this Wheel of Fortune card. So basically the universe is saying, go ahead, let go of control. Uh, um, you can trust us. The best is yet to come. We will help you to figure out if this person is your best and highest match here. Um and um, I think that's also part of the reason why you can move forward because you have two four cards that are above this Wheel of Fortune um, card. Six of Swords, he's moving forward. Uh, Knight of Swords, boom, he's moving forward. And I think that that's kind of you finally decided again to get off of the chair because you surrender. Um... Uh, and you go ahead and trust the universe, something, and it just kind of clicks for you, and you trust the universe, that could be over, that's that final test, how are you going to surrender, uh, how both, or one of you are going to surrender to the relationship, um, uh, in order for the, the best and the highest relationship to kind of take place, or, or take hold within your life. Um, because Wheel of Fortune is also about renewing you. Now, if you fight this energy, again, it makes it very unstable. It makes it very difficult for you. Um, but I, I, I have this feeling that you're not fighting this energy. Um, this is... Um, very interesting. Because they're telling me that the final test is definitely related to the Wheel of Fortune energy definitely definitely related because there is a blockage here there is um well the fortune asks for you to get rid of you know uh the things the fears or whatever that's holding you back from enjoying the relationship and that is what allows to get the relationship to be able to move forward so if it's like fear of abandonment fear of commitment <laughs> Which we know sometimes as air signs we can have because we don't want nobody to hold us down. We're like the fire signs. We enjoy our freedom. Um, so, um, you know, it, it can be hard for us to kind of go ahead and commit. But once we're in it, we are in it. But we do not want to give that energy away to the wrong person. So we get kind of caught up in our head analyzing and we definitely don't want the emotions to kind of take over there. Um, and so the will of fortune is always to me comes out to say that the universe has definitely got your back. You, you're just going to have to relinquish the, the control. And once you do, it's just like this beautiful thing happens. You just kind of get made over. And then you're, everything is able to move forward. And so that becomes, again, your last test. Um, now, we have the page of wands in the position of what you need to work on in order to get ready for the relationship. So, page of wands is usually about excitement, about messages. Um, uh, so, it could be that you need to figure out how to communicate more with the other person. Um, what? When the page of wands came out, I was like, Age of Wands, really? <laughs> uh, how is that kind of a hindrance? And they, the first thing that kind of came out um, when they flashed in my head was drama. Page of Wands can create drama, unnecessary drama energy, because 
you know, he's a page. He is not as, you know, mature uh, as the other parts of the signs. Um, uh, so, <clears throat> um, you know, he, he kind of doesn't know how to deal with the 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 kind of you know important parts of the relationship um you know where you need that emotional maturity um and that's why i think that it was very important for me to kind of say that you can't be in too much of the locker zone where you're just thinking about things and you can't be too much in the emotional zone where you you can't separate you have to figure out how to find that balance um over here and will a fortune energy will help you to find that balance and so thereby you get rid of the drama within um between the two of you um in order for you to um move forward in the relationship okay so you know that's communicate that's let them know what's going on be excited <laughs> move forward in the relationship that you know that's what pager wants he's excited about you know something new that's coming over here it's kind of difficult because you're not really showing their excitement you're not showing any kind of emotion because except for refusal or confusion okay um and then over here this is the empress this is what they need to work on so they need to kind of carve you a space um to be able to help you find um, that balance. Um, because the Empress, you know, she is completely mature. She's balanced. Um, she's loving. She's caring. She's giving. Um, and it's interesting because, you know, she's she kind of has that little bit of that mothering role. And over here you have that page. So in a way... Um, once they kind of take on that imprint's energy, they figure out how to help you to mature, how to get rid of the drama that could be here on the relationship and to give you to the success you need in love. So when they call on that empress energy it's like you can go ahead and wake up and give them the messages because now you've been car kind of carved out of space, you feel comfortable um, and you feel so loved. And so um, now you're like, oh, okay, now it can become a knight. Now it can be, you know, or possibly go do the queen energy over to um, um, maybe the king where he is mature. He kind of knows what he wants um, and he knows how to voice that, um, okay? Um, and speaking of king, your final card is uh, king of pentacles. So it's a really kind of nice card to get um, in the end, because King of Pentacles says that um, that the two of you do find that balance once you figure out the lessons that you need um, to to get to with that Page of Wands and that Empress. That there is a balance, there is a protection um, uh, that goes back and forth. You're able to build a very stable and strong relationship um, where the two of you know how to cater to one another. Um, you have the emotional stability. Um, so you are able to go ahead and express your emotions, your air sign, um, in a safe environment because, you know, that King of Pentacles energy, it's, it's like that nice place that we can land when we're not all <laughs> in the air thinking about something going on about something and being in our, you know, um, uh, minds, you know, they are the person who was like, um... I need you to kind of focus, come out of your head, come back down here and talk to me and we can have an exchange back and forth. And they understand that you have this mental process. You understand that they have whatever process that they're going through, that they're probably practical or whatever, especially if we have the, the um, King of Pentacles because we have that earth uh, kind of energy. And so the two of you kind of, create that stability and create a very interesting relationship uh there you know you could depend upon them um for whatever you need emotionally financially and and whatnot okay so a very nice card to get uh at the end of things 
Um, so as what I usually love to do at this point in time is to kind of give you guys the universe has got your back, um, Oracle cards, um, so you can get some advice from the universe. Um, so the first card that came out is the universe has my back. And of course it does, because you see that in the will of fortune card, that's the universe big huge thing telling you I've got your back I'm going to bring you or let you know that yes this connection is um destined this is it it, it feels you're you're having trouble with it feeling right you're wondering if it's right but the truth is it, it's really right you just need to kind of let go of that control and trust um I, I do like how it's underneath again I, I kind of forgot that that it's underneath that long-term or marriage potential that lies there so um that this relationship can feel very destined because the universe has got your back um the second card that came out was my energy creates my reality what i focus on is what will manifest so if you continuously focus on the fact that um you don't want your emotions to play any part of it. You just don't know what to do or you don't want to figure out what to do. Then it's going to be difficult. Um, you're going to continuously mess the diffi uh, manifest the difficulties. Um, and the, the mistrust and you can't bring about that balance um, to the relationships. You're going to continue to manifest that drama. That doesn't necessarily need to be there because you can have that strong, stable relationship with the other person. Um, and then finally, when I leave on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. King of Pentacles, peace becomes real. Lean on the faith of the universe, will of fortune. Gives you the outcome that you want. Gives you the person, uh, the relationship that you want. Um, but as usual, guys, I always tell you to go ahead and take the interpretations of those cards any way you see fit or any additions that you like to have. OK, um, so that is your reading for this month. I will see you guys next month. I, I hope that it resonated. Um, I hope that it gave you some kind of clarity or, or insight to your situation. Again, I appreciate all of the comments and subscriptions. Um, uh <clears throat> it's like when it rained, it poured for me. <laughs> I got my shoulder injury and then got the flu. So that was fun. Just the universe's way to tell me to slow down. Okay. So anyway, I appreciate you guys checking out my channel and I will see you next month. Okay. Bye.